Hi, I'm Jim Brickle from Ed Learn Ford, and this is getting to know your new 2023 Ford Maverick. A wonderful vehicle, and congratulations on your purchase. Today's video is to give you an orientation as to where the controls are located, how they're used, and help you to enjoy your vehicle to its maximum. So, I'm in the driver's seat, and as we look to the left, we have our power door locks, and down on the armrest, we have the power mirrors. So, select which mirror you want, use the arrows to adjust left, right, up, or down. Your power windows for front and rear, and next to the to the left of the steering column, you can turn the light on for the uh, box in the cargo area. The headlamps I've got set uh, with the A for the automatic setting. And then your panel dim switches, uh, brighter and uh, less bright for nighttime driving. Down below, we have our trailer brake controller. Now, on the left side of the steering column, you have the lever for tilt and telescopic. The steering wheel can move up and down, in and out, to find your most comfortable seating position. Now, on the steering wheel, the left-hand side, it's our cruise control. So, you'll turn on cruise control over here, you'll set the speed, and the X is to turn off the cruise control. In the event you're in cruise, Someone uh, goes in front of you slower, you can hit the brakes to make sure you don't smash into them. And when you hit RES, that's for resume, it'll take you back up to your preset speed. Down below here, it's the volume control for your audio system, plus and minus, and you can mute it when needed. Now, your display is controlled by the buttons on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. So we've got back, OK, and we've got menu. Now when we hit the menu button, you'll see the choice there was for a digital speedometer. So we've got that activated. We can choose fuel economy, we can choose a comm screen. As we go back, so there's our digital speedometer. Audio is currently off. No devices are currently connected. And then we have our vehicle settings. And now we're back to trip one. So it shows the liters per hundred kilometers, your um, estimated distance to empty, and the instantaneous fuel economy. Plus we've got the NE, which stands for Northeast, the direction we're heading in. Two degrees is the outside temperature. So, we do have the full tank of gas indicated right down here. And as we go down, or we, we go to the other menu options, they're all set from right there. Now, you've got voice activation in this vehicle. You go for it. Hit here. Phone voice assistant requires a connected phone. And that's the uh, voice you'll be hearing with the controls after you've paired your phone. Down below that is where you can answer and hang up on a call and also where you can scan to the next station when you've got the radio playing. Now in the center we've got our infotainment screen. The little house brings us to the home screen. So right now it's saying audio off, and you can add a device. So if you want to add your phone, you would hit paired device, go to your phone, your settings, your Bluetooth, and follow the instructions. Audio is down here. Under sources, you've got your AM, your FM, and Bluetooth audio. Your presets are down below. Once you get to the station that you want, you can push and hold. When it beeps, the preset is saved. Phone, once again, a place where you can add your phone. Apps, you 
can add a device and settings. Sound. That's your usual bass, treble, front, back, speed compensated, and occupancy mode. Clock, you can either hit here or right on the clock itself. And on those uh, two times a year where you need to move the clock one hour, just tap up an hour or down an hour. It's very easy. Make sure you uh, activate Ford Pass. So on your phone, you're going to download the Ford Pass app. You're going to create an account and then activate it with your vehicle. Once you do, there's a rewards program. Uh, you can earn points. The points can then be used to, as money at the dealership. Under general, you get to choose the language. Would you like English, French, Spanish? Temperature, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Do you want it to beep every time you touch the screen or would you prefer it not to do that? And we've got our software licensing and the reset. So down the road when you uh, sell or trade your vehicle, you're going to go to reset and it'll lock out your uh, phone features and any personal settings and put it back to the original factory defaults. And as we scroll across, we have a very important one, automatic system updates. You can turn on automatic system updates to receive the latest available in-vehicle software features, enhancements, and security updates. So that's uh, definitely a good one to activate. Your vehicle will now check for and receive automatic system updates when you're connected to a Wi-Fi network or Ford Pass app. And then when you get home, be sure to view the available networks and have your vehicle connected to your home Wi-Fi. And you've got uh, manage uh, connections, view your current software, scan for updates. And under vehicle, you've got your camera settings. You want it to... Uh, turn off as soon as you shift out of reverse or do you want it to stay on so that's what the rear camera is about and door keypad you can add in an, an additional code under display you can turn the display off you can have a comm screen you can choose actually your background if you didn't like the soft blue you can go with some bubbles some soft lines gray I like the blue. Brightness. And then uh, you've got your mode on there. So right now it's set to automatic. Go back to the home screen. And as we come down, we've got our uh, climate controls. So the rear defrost, the max front defrost, regular front defrost, air blowing through the panel vents and air blowing on the feet. Your air conditioning is over here. Your heated seats, both sides. So three lights means high heat, two is medium, one is low, and no is no heat. This one is for a heated steering wheel. In the winter time, uh, the touch screen up above does not work too well when you're wearing gloves. So if you turn on the heated steering wheel, your hands will be nice and warm and you won't need gloves on, which makes the vehicle operate um, in a more comfortable fashion. As we continue down, you do have a spot. You could rest the phone. You could sit one up here, a little storage pocket. Your shifter is a rotary dial. So you've got park, reverse, neutral, and drive, and then a low range with a button in the center. Your electric parking brake and down here we have our drive modes we have the auto uh, auto stop start so you can shut that off and it will reset back to the on position every time you start the vehicle that's where you come to a stop sign the whole engine shuts right off until you uh, lift your foot off the brake and then the engine restarts this one when you're going downhill 
can, or sorry, this one is the auto hold on the brakes. So you put your foot on the brake, it'll hold it in place until you touch the gas pedal. Traction control on and off. You're only going to need that in the event you're kind of half buried in snow and you're trying to rock the vehicle out of it. Getting back to drive modes. When you hit that button, you look up at the display. So right now we're in normal. Hit it again. I would go to tow haul, then slippery, then economy, and sport. So today it's dry pavement. It's not raining. It's not snowing. So normal would be the way to go. I hope this has been an informative vehicle orientation for you. I hope you enjoy your new Maverick. And if I can, if you have any additional questions, I'm Jim Brickle at Ed Learn Ford. Thank you, and have a great day.